We have a sign! Sort of. The idea is there. It was a birthday gift. You can see it in the dark. Oh, I can go turn on flights. Hold on. Oh, I gotta see if this... Well, no, in post. How do we look? Oh. Do we look cool? A little. Actually, that will work. That's good enough. I like that. <coughs> Ladies. Gentle. gentle fish. Oh. Ladies with gentle hands. <coughs> Dog. How can we not make a special? You always have to have a special appearance of dog. Hello, dog. Hello, dog. Dog over there. We got sign. We got but, sign. And look, it does pretty cool things like this. And or like this. this. Oh. And like this. Oh. Oh, but. She's back. Or or this or this or this maybe this. How about this? If you don't like that, why not this or this? Let's keep it like that. Let's, I, I, I. Oh, she's gone. I, 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 I. I want that. We're going to keep it like that. Welcome to the Let's Talk Chinese podcast. The best, the best podcast in my mind. I'm Dandy. The very best podcast. Oh. Yeah, preach it. Preach it, Sadie. Preach it. Go, queen. Yeah, go you. Oh, yeah. All right. Chill out. Anyways. <laughs> Every time. I go to introduce myself. No. Oh. <laughs> it's not like no. <laughs> Anyways. Welcome back to the Last Talk Chinese podcast. The best podcast in my mind. Today, a lot of the topics to cover. A lot of things that I want to talk about. Funny enough, I actually have topics that aren't on the wheel. What? We're not spinning the wheel today. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Hold on. Do me a favor. We won't. Hold on. What's your name? Who? What's your, what's your name? Ten, Tendi. And I'm not. Because <laughs> you said, I'm Tendi, and I'm like, I'm not. It's clever, don't worry. I thought you were going to say, like, Tendi's nuts or something like that. <laughs> I thought you were going to make some, like, no, I, goaded response. No, it's just. I'm not saying I'm not. <laughs> no, no. It took, it took me a second to click in my head. No, it's supposed to be like a, like a. You know, like co-host, it's like, oh, yeah, yeah. like on, on a host show, it's like, I'm Tandy and I'm not, <laughs> but this is Let's Talk Tandy. So, bunch of topics to cover, bunch oh. of things to talk about. I'm Tandy, and I'm not. And let's get into the intro. <laughs> Do your thing. <laughs> And welcome back from the intro. That's going to be the new thing from now on for the rest of our lives until we die. Yay! Anyways, lots of topics to cover. Lots of ideas I've had pop up in the last little bit. First one we're going to start out with is the first thing I talked about, which was the sign. The sign! My birthday. We're recording this June 26th. If you've been a part of my channel since the beginning, you will know June or June 27th. We're recording it June 27th. I was like, it's not your birthday, you silly goose. June 26th is my birthday. If you've been a long part of this channel, you will know that earlier in the days, I wanted to get to, I think it was 50 subscribers by my birthday, and then maybe 100. I don't remember, honestly. It, it didn't happen. And now he's famous. Now I'm famous. Look, I'm so famous. And now he has his own podcast and a co-host. And a sign. And a sign. So... My that birthday. is a sign right there. My birthday, of course, from this recording was yesterday. She got me. It was great. It was, uh, sorry, I keep dying here. It was great. Back to the Future mug. Back to the Future 2 mug, to be more specific. Huge Back to the Future fan. And a bracelet in Morse code that says, I love you. Which, funny enough. It was... wasn't just a Back to the Future mug. It also had the hoverboard as the handle. So It did have the hoverboard as a handle. Uh, my parents and my family got me this sign. Funny story, the company who made it messed up twice and didn't put any of the spacing in it. So it was, oh. let's talk tendies, all one word. How do you do that? Great question. <laughs> so now we have three signs. Silly gooses. So one's going to go up, hang up in my room, probably this one. The other ones, one of them's going to be here in the basement, probably just like this. The other one, I don't know what we're going to do with it. Maybe we'll put it there if we ever go back to sitting on the couch, but that's after we get maybe like 
boom arms let's, so we don't unplug do again. Couch talk. Honestly, pillow talk. Yes, yeah, see? Oh my gosh, you took pillow my talk. name. Good. Uh, yeah. That's all I wanted. There we go. All I wanted. So, all I wanted. First topic. I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to move this out of the way. First topic. We did it at the same time. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. Continue. Oh, dog interview. Oh, hello. Okay. You're going to get me in trouble. You First topic. First thing I want to talk about. It's the last thing we just did before we got here. Oh. We sat down with my brother. Shut up. We sat down and watched Inside Out 2. Oh, my God. Oh. Underrated movie. Underrated? It's not going to be talked. It, it, I know it's not going to be talked about. That's why I'm saying underrated. Well, we can't say that until it like people actually start watching it. Like if it comes out in like 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 since it's out now, in a month, if nobody's talking about it, I'll say underrated. Right now, personally, it's only been like what, a few a few weeks? I think oh, so. A week? I think it came out a couple weeks ago. I, I, Maybe, give or take. I don't think we should we should hate on it yet. Or oh, not. I'm not hating on it. Or, I'm like, saying underrated. Think other people. I'm saying underrated, and here's why. Because it's not Elsa. Because it's not Let Elsa. Let it go. <laughs> Let it go. It definitely should be. If they had a ranking for most emotional movie. From Pixar. Just, no, in general. Not even mm. from Pixar. Most emotional movie of the year. It has to be on that list. I don't know. I don't know. By the way, there will probably be spoilers. We suck at hiding spoilers i suck at hiding spoilers she's pretty good at it i'm horrible at it i usually just don't talk about it i usually just sit there by myself ponder let it happen ponder anyways small tear comes down my so, cheek there, there's your spoiler warning for the people at to home everybody who, who wants to watch inside out 2 don't watch this <laughs> no skip ahead until we don't talk about it Ah, uh, yes. Skip ahead, Keep everybody. Watching. Skip ahead to this time. I'm not doing that. Post skip either. ahead to no time. <laughs> Just skip ahead. I will probably end up... Find out the next topic. I, I'll probably put in time codes of what topic we're talking about. Oh, I usually wow. do that, but I'm not going to put it in the post edit. Skip ahead to blank time. Literally just open your phone, move to the next little dial. Move it like Aren't you 20 minutes. just whimsical? I'm great. I don't want to. Look at this They'd guy. have to do it anyways. So if I just say move to this time and we don't know the time, but it's in post. Well, then you put it up on the screen, you silly goose. But it's on Spotify. So if they don't have a screen, like it's it, the videos on Spotify. But if they're like listening to it on their drive to work, he has it. no sense of whimsy. Shout out Jonah. I know he you listen to this podcast. No, You're awesome. No sense of whimsy. What's who's whimsy? That's not I'll an never emotion. be whimsical so, again. Inside out too. You have your basic five first emotions: joy. Fear, sadness, anger, and disgust. They introduced a new five emotions. It was not five. It was five. No. Joy, fear, sadness, anger, disgust. Yes, but you said new five. They introduced new five. I anxiety, guess it's five. Anxiety. Envy. Oh my god. Embarrassment. And boredom. There's one more. Nostalgia. Sure, we'll go nostalgic. That's literally that's it. That's five. That's it. Technically, oh, I guess you're right. but that's what I mean. I'm Nostalgia's not, not. Oh, maybe there is a f third movie then. <laughs> heartbeat. <laughs> heartbeat. She, for those bubble, listening, bubble, she bubble. dropped the mic. <laughs> so. Yeah, because you know I'm awesome. Um. Anyway. Girl Riley. Girl Riley. Who the emotions control in the first movie. Riley Cryley. It's puberty. Puberty. Basically, everyone does it. If you don't know what puberty is. No, no, it's is, not puberty. It's puberty. It's, it. it's, it's puberty. 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 She hits puberty. puberty. So, all of a sudden, these new flux of emotions come in, just like how it's described in every health class ever. And the main, I want to say the main an antagonist, I can't, I can never we say know, that. Wait, hold on. You learned anxiety in health class? Kind of. I did not. My, I did not. Actually, I very much did not learn that in health class. No, we learned a little bit about puberty, but it was like 
Here's what's going to happen. I learned It'll it for two days. And it was weird. I don't know. I learned it for two days and didn't really pay attention to 99% of the time. No, I only paid attention to the drug part because they showed us the videos. It was kind of funny. I'm not going to lie. The acting in it was always horrible. You ever Don't tell do someone drugs, to, kids. You ever tell someone to like ever see a movie and they're like, oh, be a druggie. And it's always funny. No. I don't even know what you're talking... This guy, little sadist over here. No, so, okay. Riley gets all these emotions. And the main bad guy, I guess we'll call it for this one, because I guess that's how it's positioned to be. Protagonist? Antagonist. Antagonist. The main main antagonist, because it's not... Technically not a bad guy. No. So antagonist is the best way to put it. Because I usually just can't say the word antagonist. An tag honest. Onist. Antagonist. So the main antagonist oh, look, he said is it. anxiety. Anxiety. As hey, anxiety, how... antagonist, same thing. <laughs> Sorry, he, he can start talking in a second. <laughs> I just had to do it. I had to interrupt him once. Anyway, go on. Anxiety starts to flush out the original five emotions, which are the ones that we know yourself. already, the, the pretty colors. Goodbye, guys. So they start to flush out the main emotions and starts taking over because they say that Riley is going to be better in the future if we better prepare her for the, the worst outcomes. Which With is anxiety is help. Easy, basic understanding of anxiety is preparing for the worst. This is the spoiler. Oopsie daisies. Anxiety takes over. Boop, 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 boop. So anxiety takes full control of Riley. Of course it does. The, Riley's in this hockey camp. She's the goat at hockey. We know that. The first dangle in the movie is actually just disrespectful to the entire NHL itself. Uh, like it put, it makes Riley. It makes, like... And she almost doesn't make the team. It makes Connor no McDavid wonder. look like a schnub. So, Riley goes into this, this hockey camp she's invited to with her friends, and it's, oh, there's these high school girls who are, one of them's really good, and, and blah, 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 whatever. So, anxiety takes over and basically pushes her to the limit when it comes to, limit emotionally, not physically, because you don't really see her get, like, physically burnt out, but emotionally burnt out. And it pushes her so much to the point where she ends up having a major anxiety attack in the penalty box after absolutely trucking her team, her, her, her best own friend. team. And yeah. But like, like her, she... her best friend who she was on the other team and she just tr pure she... truck, by the way. Yeah. She, she body trucked her oh, to no end. Like that soul. You ever seen that, you know, that scene in Avengers where like Hulk, Bruce Banner gets taken out of Hulk's body and Hulk, she just lays there dead. And like the soul comes out. That. Ah. It just, little, and it, like, her soul's gone. But <laughs> What <the>, soul? <laughs> uh, but, you'd know all about that, wouldn't you? Sorry to all, all the other gingers out there. My bad. So basically. <laughs> <laughs> this is going out of here. So basically, Riley. Not basically. She has an, a major panic, major anxiety attack. And it's in the mind of Riley, you see the, the tornado of anxiety. It's like nobody can stop it. No. Nobody it just can... keeps going, and the only, the only thing that can stop it is all of these emotions, like other emotions, like sadness and fear and ha like joy and like anger. All you have to see is all of the other emotions flood in. Mm-hmm. Because it built up and built up and built up and built up until it finally, all the floodgates went through. And it was, it was funny. So we went and we're sitting in the back row because that the best spot in the theater is always the back row, the back corner. Why not? I don't think so, but fair. I like the back row. I get. I don't like breaking my neck. But, no, I meant like I oh, like I like the 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 back, back. middle. Yeah. Mm, that's fair. Right under the projector. Yeah. I think I just also don't like the idea of. If people don't have to sit beside me both ways, I don't have I... to worry about it. <laughs> I just Unless don't like I that people, them. like, a bunch of people have to walk over my feet. That, too. That's why we threw you in the corner. 
No, I don't get it. I don't get why you guys did that because I'm the shortest one. But besides the point. Anyway, go, go. So it was, so we're sitting there in the, the theater in the back row and a bunch of us, or uh, in front of us is like. A bunch of little kids. A bunch of, it's probably a birthday party. Yeah. But they're a bunch of like 10 year old kids. That are a really big family. That too. Really big family. I think it was a birthday party. Oh, I know. I'm just kidding. But it was a bunch of like seven to 11 year old kids. Roughly. Yeah. And they, Had no during idea. during the scene of this huge anxiety tornado, they're sitting there laughing. And they're like, oh, it's so funny. They don't know what's, like, as us being adults and going through situations like that. Having our anxiety shoot through the roof on numerous occasions. We know how that feels. So that hit us differently. We're now we're laughing at the kids' comments because they're like, Oh my god, it's an orange tornado and like, Oh my god, she's gonna disappear. <laughs> Joy's gonna just snap away. It was it was funny. But we're sitting there like, we know how this feels. Mm-hmm. These kids don't know how this feels. And I remember in the start of the movie, they came out and they're like, oh, we're here to make this movie about, you know, teaching anxiety. To kids. To, and, and I'm like, oh, And, okay. like, for future, like, teenagers, like, like people who are going to deal with this, which honestly... My first reaction was, okay, now they're just hitting an agenda. No, but I... I oh, my, my first reaction to that... You done? ...was honestly just, like, okay, well... It's going to be like every Pixar movie ever. It's going to be, it tells a story and then yippee, amazing end, whatever. Which technically it was, but it hits so much different. Wow. I'm never allowed to make an emotional speech again. Every time I speak, she just is like, oh. Okay, you're going upstairs. We need to be emotional here. Anyway, on. hold on. So, like, my first reaction was like, Okay, yeah, it's gonna be like like turning red or other things like that. Like, don't get me wrong, I liked turning red, but it didn't hit as hard as this did or ever will. Like, cause like, what was it? Like, there was, it was so realistic, so realistic. And I I think the like the kids we talked about it leaving. The kids don't know what it is. They don't no. know. They don't know what the definition of an anxiety attack, and they don't outright say it's an anxiety attack. And that's that's on to me. That's a good thing. Yeah. But like, it's so crazy how people register in anxiety. And it's so crazy that like I know technically they didn't want anxiety to be known throughout the movie, but I love that they show the anxiety in the parents too. <laughs> Afterwards. That was hilarious. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, like the mom, like it's like, yeah. oh, sh sh like we don't that need to extra. Worry. It's almost like all of these voices, and then that little extra voice in the back of your head that is always there, that's telling you like you have to do this, you gotta do this, you gotta do this, you gotta do this. Where's this? What's this? What what, what am I doing? What am I doing? Like that little voice that is constantly at the back of your head. I think also to anxiety being depicted as it is, where it's, oh, we're trying to do the best for Riley. Because that's yeah the, probably the best way to describe anxiety is... I want to protect Riley. I want to do the best for me. Yeah. I, I, I'm I, trying. I want to be the best. Well, she's sitting there and she's like... All, she Even at the end, she, she fell on the ground. She goes, I'm sorry. All I wanted to do was protect her. Because that's what anxiety is. It's to protect you emotionally from all the bad stuff. And, like, obviously you overthink constantly, but it's to protect you, which is a great way to put it because now it's showing that anxiety is important. It's, it like, even at the end, they were all working together and anxiety still was like, well, what if there was this, this, and this? And <laughs> Joy's like, well, calm down. We don't need to freak out. It's okay. And then the anxiety. What? The tea. The little tea they gave her in the end on oh, her chair. Yes. It was called anxiety. It was like A N X I T. Yes. T I, T T E A. I, T -E -A. I, I understand. I, know. I I just. I was explaining it for. Yeah, fair. But mm -hmm. it was the. I think the part that really got me. They came back. 
there's this whole anxiety tornado and you think in the tornado anxiety is doing everything going around pressing the the little control buttons but she's just sitting there frozen and it was too because when it started building that's what she was doing she was going around you could see her jump button start spinning and it's like your head spinning you can't think straight it shows it really well with riley her basically what happened she got a penalty box every emotions flood out she got a penalty for trucking her best for trucking her best friend motion started flowing out and you could see her like grab her chest which is a good sign of an anxiety attack because it feels like a heart attack just it's not your heart so you she's doing that and she's not focusing on anything she's kind of blanked out but breathing heavy sweating it's all the signs of an anxiety attack and then you have the in the mind it's spinning it's this and that and you think with this whole tornado that anxiety's there she's you what you said in the middle just can't move she cannot move because during an anxiety attack your brain's spinning but it doesn't know why it doesn't know how to change itself yeah it doesn't know how to Everything's going at once, but it can't. There's no common ground to stop it. Then Joy goes in and, you know, it's okay. Let her go. And Like, you have to let her go. You got to let Riley go. And then they rip off the and thing. And... No, she, yeah, but she, she, the best part about it was she was frozen that whole time. And when Joy said, you have to let her go, her eyes shifted to Joy. And she sat there for a second and she let go. And then there's a tear because she was upset. Because Cause she, she wanted to protect Riley. And then... I also... We were also talking about this, too. The idea that you show... This is a kid's movie. You show it to a 10-year-old. They're now going to grow up with the knowledge that this anxiety is, isn't bad. Yeah, this is okay. And it's it's like there's ways around it that's what shows us there's ways to calm it down there's ways to think about it and it also shows that not like you're not alone like it's gonna happen to everybody and it doesn't it could be the worst of the worst or or the best like it doesn't happen all at once like it and it builds and it builds and it builds and then there's some people who can solve it and other times when they can't it also gives a great visual representation because people can say oh this is what i feel like during an anxiety attack this is what i feel like this is how it feels but not everybody feels the same no there that is such a great way to ex explain what an anxiety attack is yeah especially for the parents so parents who may not have had anxiety attacks they might not have they as don't severe have to, to be able anxiety to, they can explain it to their children who might not have even, it worse not even that if they don't understand what it is no that's what i mean they can better understand it no it's that's that's what i mean oh <laughs> yeah but it's such a good it it should I don't want to say it should be used as an educational tool for anxiety. It's just But it healthy. should be. It should be used as the benchmark of this is how anxiety works. Because you again, you can explain anxiety. It is a emotional state where you constantly fear for everything and but you worry that the future and you, a lot of things going on at once. You can never visually explain it. No. That you could visually explain. It was also super helpful because it was like not one thought. No. It wasn't just one thought. It was, let me see everything that could go wrong. And it wasn't even just that. It was. Give me the big, give me these ideas to make me be better. Yeah. And even her thought process between certain things like with her friends it was just super realistic she wants to fit in she's like 
well, if you do something silly, if you do this, like, you're not going to fit in. She's like, she was thinking about Riley the whole time. And she said, I don't want Riley to be alone. Right. Throughout the year. I don't want Riley, because her, her best friends were leaving. So she's like, we have to act cool. And she, she did it for a little bit until it spiraled. And it, not even, it just, like, it spiraled. And then she started to lose her friends to gain new friends. Who then she also started to. It was a big spiral of she got she had something. She started to lose it. Then she got something that started to lose it. And then she lost it all. Yeah. Because started to lose it all. And then she goes in and checks the notebook. And now she's. She's like panicking because she goes. The saying is, I, I'm not good enough. Yeah. And then that's what repeated in her head. I'm I'm not enough. 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 Until she's on, on the, the ice and that's all she can think about. I'm not enough. I'm not enough. And she's trying to be enough. That was the whole goal in the first place. I'm, I'll be enough. I'll be enough. I'll be enough. And then she gets kicked out of the game. And it boils over. And all the emotions go through the floodgates. Then the movie ends. The end. Everything explodes. World blows up. We all die. No, I'm kidding. It, it, it ends on a, on a sweet moment, as every Pixar and Disney movie does. She ends up presumably making the hockey team. It doesn't officially say, but she waits for an email, and then she gets the email and smiles. and you know you. It was all good yeah. in the end. And all she had to do was be yourself, be with people, and that's okay. As, like, anxious as you can be with certain things. And I think anxiety is a good thing for a few reasons. It helps you put, like, your head on your shoulders almost. Like, it helps you... Oh, I'm going to be late for work. I should get ready here so I can quickly go to work. Like, it, it helps. Which is Which I think is a very good representation. Especially because... I love that the parents are so calm and collected the whole time because they're the adults. They've been through that. But then there's still that little, like, anxious bubble that comes out and it's like, welcome back, anxiety. I think this is one of the few Pixar movies that focuses on a social problem or emotional problem. I love that. That does it right. I love that the main character... They still show all of the imperfections between it all. Yeah. The the protagonist and the antagonist, they have all of their... Even in the first movie, they did this, too. They show that who Joy was supposed to be the main protagonist was also the antagonist. They showed all of her dirty laundry and all of the problems and whatever, and they did that here. All of the problems, they got to show... All of Joy's, this can sound weird, all of Joy's emotions. And they got to show Joy fall apart, too, yeah. with Riley. Which then brings us to the next part is, do the emotions have emotions, or do they feed off of each other? I think they feed off each other, because in the first movie, fear, like, not fear, um, anxiety, wasn't really a big part of her thing sadness was right but then in this one you get to watch joy fall apart with with riley all that anxiety joy was feeling too and her envy when fear goes well anxiety would have probably figured this out anxiety would have figured this out can i see fear getting curb stomped please that was annoying as hell (laughs) fear was a little bit of he he was poking the bear there fear getting curb stomped in 4k please but like blue comment like i think that they feed off each other because before i thought i thought it was funny because they all had their like i'm like joy's crying clearly she gets to feel sadness too but maybe it's just because she was around sadness that whole time. I was going to say... She was with sadness the you, whole time. If you live with someone, you pick up their tendencies. Hence why you see, like, uh, father-son, father-daughter, daughter, mother-mother-son daughter, have the same tendencies. Yeah. You 
pick up on it. Like it, it just comes naturally. I agree with you. I don't think that they have their own. Accept well, in emotions. the first the first movie, I, that's totally what I thought the whole time. I like until we watched this because I was talking with him about it, and I like I made a joke about it, and I'm like, oh my gosh, they have their own emotion. Like they they have their own emotions as emotions. Isn't that so funny? I'm like, I guess they wouldn't have a story if they didn't. But maybe there's more to it. Maybe it's they built they're building off each other. Maybe that's part of the story. And it, that they have to learn from each other. Even if you go all the way back to the first movie where sadness and joy get kicked out of Riley's place, out of, out of Riley's mind, and you see joy get worried and fearful. And sad. And you, sad and get, upset. And, and you also get to see, in the end, you get to see sadness be happy. Even in this one, you can watch sad, like, when they're going through all the memories in that, like, big pond where that creates Riley. It's, you get to watch Sadness walk in and she looks joyful. Obviously, I know it's not necessarily about, like, sadness or joy or whatever, because obviously it's about Riley. But I love seeing... Honestly, I think Sadness might be my favorite character. <laughs> she's the funniest. <laughs> I'm not. No, gonna... she's. I don't she's even think. She's great. No, I think just. She's just the cutest little thing. I think. Well, I think first off, the voice actor is what's her name from The Office. Yes, and she delivers the lines f- hilariously. She's so good at delivering just de- really depressing lines that sound depressing. You get but to see really Sadness funny. be fearful too. I, I think, and angry. I think you get to right. see Joy be angry in the beginning too. You get to watch her be angry. I think you're right when it comes to they pick up on the tendencies. Yeah. And they pick up. I think if they en- do end up making a third movie, it should be about like becoming an adult, and you pick up the professional, emo- like not even a professional emotion, but they have to learn to be more professional. They have to learn to be this. They have to learn to be that. And I think in that movie they should either say. Our emotions have our own emotions, and it's just a continuous string, or it's they feed off each other. And then that ends. Honestly, I like the conspiracy. I don't want an explanation because I. I hate conspiracy. Especially if I'm wrong. Especially if I'm wrong. I want (laughs) it. That's the most valid answer. Yeah. Uh, I I, I, I think I just want. I, satisfaction. I, I, I just like the satisfaction of knowing if I'm right. Yeah. Or well, like I just like I like the mystery. I like the thought. Whatever. But like, I don't think like a Pixar movie has made me like like hit me that hard before. A very mu- few movies actually make me tear up and cry. Oh, I was I was crying <laughs> like a like a I was that crying. I'm trying to think of other movies that might have done. Probably other Pixar movies. Well, I That's why I was saying I didn't want to watch that yeah. wild robot. Because I know cry. it's going to get depressing. Well, like, there are certain ones, definitely. But that one really took the cake for me. Especially because, like, it hit so close to home. And that, like, I obviously, I know that's what it's for. It's supposed to be to show you. But, like, like what was it? I, I basically... I was tense and like my heart was going so fast and like I held my breath and it's like I was there with Riley and that was the scariest thing because I'm sitting here and the tears are coming down and I'm just like holding my breath and I'm just sitting there with Riley and I and you are an emotion and then it <laughs> the, Riley's not an emotion I'm an emotion I'm emotion of what happened <laughs> <laughs> confusion oh my god that should be the perf- that should be in call the confusion Logic. Logic would be a good one. I watch too much Sandra Sides. <laughs> Shout out to everybody who about, knows about that. How long have we roughly been talking about it? 30 minutes. What, 30? 30 minutes, give or take. Honestly, it makes sense. That's going to be a good chunk of the podcast. It's probably going to be named... Inside something Out 2? No, it's going to be like... Why is Inside Out so really Or Inside Out 2 so relatable? Yeah. Well, like, because, like... What is it? Like... When they say, like, 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 
when you said like uh, people have been through that like people like whatever it's like i've been through that i've had that situation like i i've not to be all like oh my god like i'm so my high horse uh high horse uh, over like (laughs) i'm such an emotional person i'm an emotional mess 99 percent of the time i'm just i play it cool you know but i if you haven't watched the movie first off Go, I go, go watch go it. Go watch it, but if you don't want to spend movie dollar, it'll be out on somewhere. It'll, it'll be out on Disney Plus in probably two months. Dis- yeah. If you decide to go to the movies, if you decide to watch it on Disney Plus, please make sure you have a friend and a teddy bear. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> please watch it. It is in a blanket. Even if you don't understand exactly what anxiety is. It'll or be even good. Even if you want a more visual understanding of what it is, it's it's super educational. In that. Watch it. Yeah, like obviously I know it We're doesn't. We're not getting paid for this, by the way. I know it doesn't have all the it. answers a hundred percent, and it, it I know it to some it'll feel quick and it won't feel, but to me to to me for sure, it just felt so real. They did it really well. So, I like. Like, even her heart, you could hear, her, like, her heart beating, and all of the noises in the background were fading, and all she was just sitting there, and all you could hear was her heartbeat and even, her, her breath. Even on that screen they show, like, through her eyes, it was blurry. But I know, that's what I mean, like, like because... All... And, then, and then it cleared out, and all of a sudden, you could see her skates again. She was sitting there, and she was focusing on her skates, she was listening to everything, and she and all you hear was... And her, and you know what's the funniest part? Her friends were standing there, and we didn't see her, them come in because she was probably there. Mm-hmm. And then, well, you saw the, f- the the one friend take notice. No, no. But what I mean is, yeah, you... they were able to walk in there without her noticing because obviously her mind was so clouded that all she could feel was her, like her anxiety. That's all she could feel, like e- e- physically, too. Like I'm not just saying like emotionally, but physically, and like her clenching her chest. Like it's like. You could feel that pain that yeah. she was feeling because you could feel all of the frustration and the sadness and the anger all coming in, and that's and you could feel that anxiety like of, well, I let everybody down. I'm not good enough. This and that. Like you can feel it, mm-hmm. and that is the most like, it's it's just good, like ob- obviously. Sometimes I don't like feeling feelings from movies because it's not very fun. Nobody does. That one just like. It's comforting. Yes and no. Yeah, very comforting, but it killed me. Oh, yeah. When that was happening, but oh my gosh. I literally. Just, I think just the simple it's like from Joy, it's the it's okay. Let her go. Yeah. Like, let, just let her go. That. And, it, and it's not like she was saying forever. She was just saying, like, to let her go for a minute. Get so it, so everybody, so her other emotions could clear up. Like, the situation, she said, let her go. And even in the end, uh, anxiety was there hu- hugging with them. Like, yeah. she was there still. Like, anxiety is always going to be there regardless. It's just how you handle it. And obviously, Joy, Joy shows a lot that... It's okay. You can be anxious. It's helpful. It's good to see all your options. But at the same time, if you let it control you, it's going to be too much. And we got to see that firsthand. Like, that's crazy. That is. So, Inside Out. We'll stop talking about it now. Inside Out, great movie. Go check it out if you have not. Uh, You'll learn a lot. Probably a lot about anxiety itself and emotions itself, as well as probably yourself. Because there will definitely be times where you relate to something. My other topic that I wanted to touch on. Oopsies. <laughs> great content. You know how many clips can come out of that? We're going to be rich. Cha-ching. Cha-ching. So. Money eyes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so the next topic that I wanted to talk about actually does involve money. It was on our wheel for uh, the wheel we spin every now and then when we don't have a topic, or the last two podcasts when we don't have a topic. We are in a world now where 
tipping is such a controversial topic. Shout out Yappy Hour. Their first episode is actually on tipping culture. And I, I, I didn't want to take the idea from them or the conversation from them. Um, but there was a while ago, not too long, uh, probably a month or two ago, a photo was surfaced of a shop in BC that on their little debit machine, when you turn around and it says how much you want to tip, they put a piece of tape over the block that, or over the, the little section that said no tip with an arrow saying thank you. They, tipping now has become such a stupid thing. Which is really hard to think about a lot because like, don't get me wrong, I tip all the time. I, like, I... I tip, I can give the story after. You can, I want to give, unless you want time to think. No, I got it. You I got just, it? Go you, ahead. I, okay. Well, I tip all the time and I think it's hard because everybody is struggling like everybody like there's like probably a two percent of people maybe less that are actually okay even here like in, in canada and the u.s whatever there is not one moment where you won't hear somebody say money is hard even for the people i always thought like had so much money had this and that they're like money's hard Mm-hmm. And it's like, I, I, I like tipping people, but when the bill is already $45 and they want me to tip like another tw- 18, 20% on top of that, which is like a f- $5, $6, give or take. But that is all, then that's $50. It's like you sit there and you look at the bill and it is so hard to tip. Trust me, especially with like. Sorry, Uber. Um, With, like, Uber Eats, you basically have an automatic tip. Right. Unless you... No, you still have, like, an automatic tip. And it kind of sucks because, again, the bill is already so high. And now you're tipping on top of that. And it's like, well, what if the service was bad? So that's where my point comes in. So I don't, I used to, but I don't now. I used to tip at places like Subway and Starbucks. The only reason I don't now is because I realized that no matter how good the one person that served me was, they're not getting the entire tip. I know. That really sucks. I feel bad. So Because it's going split, to everybody. They split it up between Starbucks, I believe. That happens at Tim's. I, don't, I never knew they tipped at Tim's. Yeah, okay. I would rather just give them. The, I well, I, ha- the cash I have a friend. And say, Take it; it's yours. I have a friend who works at Tim Hortons, and when she gets tipped a five dollar bill, that goes to everybody in the store. I hate that. So everybody, much. and so. she, it's like no matter how hard she was working, or how good her service was, the person who was super rude or like obnoxious or whatever still in the gets, corner still gets that tip from this girl who worked so hard to get that tip. Yeah. So at places, Starbucks, Subway, I've never been, never tipped at Tim Hortons. I've never been offered a tip at Tim Hortons. Then again, I don't ever really go into a Tim. I go through the drive-thru and they don't ask for a tip. But places like that, I, a chain restaurant where they're making a decent amount, I don't tip. Even if it's suggested, I don't tip. I'm already paying X amount of dollars for overpriced food well, or whatever. When we when we go to like fancy restaurants and stuff, if you tip them, isn't that going to the other waiters as well? No. Waitresses, really? So that's the difference. At restaurants where you go, whoever serves that table gets the tip. I wish that it was is, like that for everybody. So restaurants are the only places where I'll tip. Mm-hmm. Because if and, – and, and it's not like I, – I, Sometimes I want to tip more. Let's say we get a server who's really nice, really sweet, all over the place, you know, doing everything well. I want to tip more. Sometimes I financially can't and I feel bad. Or like we've gone out with my brother and he hasn't tipped. And I'm like, dude. He's like, sorry, I thought you, I didn't realize. And I'm like, 
at restaurants, you tip. Even if it's a little littlest amount, you still tip. So the way I I see it is if I had the money, if I give you like a first off, 18, 20, 25 is insane. The immediate starting number is 18% is insane. It should be maybe 10%. 15%, 20%. That should be the standard average. Well, so I bring cash. So then I pay for the actual bill and tip them with the cash instead. Smart man. <laughs> Smart man. <laughs> yep. Uh, That's me. <laughs> uh, Sean. In mine. Um, <laughs> Hold on. Uh, Don't worry. Oh my. Anyway. <laughs> Keep talking. So uh-huh. I, I tip at restaurant. The tipping percentage to start out with is... I'm doing it's, it. I'm going for it. It's stupid. It is so stupid. Oh. It is just an easy way for owners to not pay their cu- pay their workers well. Here, it's not as bad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> for those who are listening, she put her hair into a knot in front of her, and she looked kind of Amish. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> um, I have I have elastics. I could have done that. <laughs> No, so the anyways, the states it's worse. Mm-hmm. It is. She put her hair over her top lip. They can to make see it. Look, it. Not if they're listening, they're not. Oh. So she, I keep forgetting. I'm sorry. It's okay. Listen, I'm hey. not used to podcast. It's I. Right. Right. So what? <laughs> She's moving the mic away from me. <laughs> <laughs> so the states is worse. Minimum wage down there. You basically get paid seven dollars an hour. Plus tips. By the way, that also gets taxed too. The seven dollars, I believe, gets taxed. So realistically, you're making five dollars an hour. Being a server in the states, in Canada, the minimum wage is the minimum wage. You get paid the minimum wage. Tips is a bonus. Restaurants will still probably find a way around it, but people are sketchy. They are, especially to save money nowadays. Every again, everybody is struggling. We got pizza but places. I've been offered to tip, like the pizza place we usually go to. Mm-hmm. They're like, oh, you want a tip? I'm like, no. I called in. I order the pizza. You put it in the machine. You make it. And then I come and pick it up. And you're like, oh, here you go. Thank you. Have a nice day. What is that tip going towards? I only tip for certain things. Like the other day when our waiter at Starbucks was really nice. I always tip at Starbucks specifically. I know it's already high enough, but I like that they don't have the expectation. Plus, when they're super nice, they deserve it. Like, even though it goes to everybody else, yeah. it's like, it still adds up. And it's nice to see. The very few times I've gone to a Starbucks. I don't go to Starbucks often. Very few times I've actually. More than me, apparently. The very few times I actually <laughs> go into a Starbucks. I don't think I've had a bad experience with a worker. No. That's probably different down in the States. Starbucks is really nice over here, definitely. Like, it's, I've not had a... Like, everybody is always cheerful. Fun. Whenever I've By had, my work, people are so nice. I've had... And this is probably a quantity. I go to Tim Hortons more often. I've had worst experiences at Tim Hortons. So many more worst I, experiences than Starbucks. The worst... Ex- I, I had such a bad experience one time. Tell it, I'm sister. A, I, I almost went back and it hit the guy... I didn't because it was, it was next to my work. But at Tim Hortons, I literally, this guy, we were getting food. Right. And my friend, I won't name names, my coworker. Shout out. He. Um, is it the coworker I like? It is not. Oh, okay. I don't care. Don't shout out. Um, he, he was getting. Um, two like wraps or something and they were like uh chicken ranch wraps something like that and he looks at him and goes chunky he didn't say anything else he just goes chunky and i looked at him and i'm thinking to myself and we're walking away and i'm like what in your food has the name chunky in it and he goes nothing and he pointed at this co-worker and I swear to you I was this close to turning around 
because I, 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 we walked out and I went, no, uh-uh, no. And I went to turn around and he grabs my shoulder and goes, no, we'll just go back. It's okay. We're almost done our break. Just go back. No. Uh, no, that was like when we went to Subway. I was so mad. And the co- So we went to Subway and they brought back the new football. This was a couple, couple days ago. Got our subs and we're like, oh, they got the new football cookie. Let's try it. Okay. Guy puts in two, makes two, and we're like, okay, well, we can always save one for later, right? We thought he just misheard us, so he goes and get, pay for it. We don't really say anything about the cookie because we're like, okay, we'll save it for next time I'm over, and, you know, we'll enjoy it later. Like, it's not a right now thing. The guy goes, wait, did you order two? We go, no, we ordered one. And he's like, oh. Well, I'll give you a refund because you're only supposed to... I wasn't supposed to pay you for two. I'm like, oh, no. Did you make two on purpose? And they go... The guy on the other side goes, yeah, no, we were supposed to be for the other order. We're like, oh. Okay, then we'll... Yeah, we'll take the refund. And he goes, it's okay. It's a lot of calories anyways. You guys don't... Like, you don't need it. I'm like... I know. I was and little, it, di- it didn't click in my head. I'm like... Okay. I was a little peeved off when he said it. I was like... Uh, I'm not one to... Okay. I don't like making a scene... But in my head, I definitely was like, as it soon didn't as he, click in my head. oh, it clicked right that away for me. Well, as soon as beef. I said it, I was like, delicious. like I was like thinking to myself, I get it, but people can make their own decisions and like again, who says we were gonna eat it, both of them that night? Yeah, I just like, I know that there's certain times you have to be concerned, and I appreciate the concern, but at the same time. I don't know him, let alone his name, or he doesn't know us. Yeah, they don't have name tags. They don't need to, <laughs> like, you're working, don't. Yeah. You, like, your job is to give us off, that. they offered a tip, and I said no. Uh, I like how we went from that to tipping. <laughs> we went from tipping to so, that. So, tipping to that. So, tipping culture is stupid. Dumb. The way I would love to tip if I had the money would be 10, 15, 20. 10 is you did your job. 15 is you did your job well. 20 is I probably won't forget you. Anything less than 10? I like the custom Look at it. The, I like the customization ones. Yeah. Because it's like then you get to tip whatever you think that they deserve. Some people I know ruin it for others, but to me, for us, if you deserve a high tip, I will give you a high tip. That's why I like, like, because when, when I tip people. Or better yet, if I don't have the money to tip right away, but we decide, it's a restaurant we go to all the time, right? Like, I'd say it's X restaurant we go to all the time. I'm going to specifically ask for that server. Hey, can we get put in Amanda's section? Why do you want to go? We like her. Amanda's cool. Amanda's cool. I don't, I don't know. know. An, I don't know an Amanda who serves. We don't have. I don't waitress. know an Amanda. But, like, we would. I want to go back there. So then my business is with this server. She's like, it's been half an hour. Let me back. Probably yeah. over half an hour now. Probably. It's, but another thing I wanted to bring up. Included group, included tips in your bill. So you go in. Your price, your food, you pay for your food. That's like six fifty five or something. Yeah, but yeah. you you pay for the tip already. Yeah. That is included in your bill. You don't get an option to say no. I know. That's what I. That's what I get frustrated about with like Uber and stuff. Right. Because it's automatic. So, Jonah. So, Which, Yappy Hour Boys. They do these restaurant reviews and they go before they record a podcast every Friday night. They go and they go out for dinner. They went to, I think it was this Korean barbecue place. And they're like, oh, gratuities included. Uh, like, into the bill. And it was like, it equivalent, it was like a 40% gratuity tip or something like that. Like some, I don't remember exactly what it was. It was just stupid. It was a stupid amount. Sadie! Anyways. She just really wants us. It was a stupid amount of money included in the tip. And they came by twice to fill up their water and didn't say anything. They said, they went, filled, left, came back maybe 20 minutes later, left, and was like, oh, here's your bill. 
that would not be a tip. That would be maybe here's a here's a dime. Flick flick him a dime. He has a cat. Thanks, man. No, I. Sometimes I, even with service like that, I usually tip at least like five dollars. Yeah. Because like they did their job and they did it okay. At least they came back. Yeah. But it's like we went to a restaurant nearby and we saw our waitress twice. Us? We yes. And they kicked us out like a half an hour before the closing because I had, like, I had, we waited so long for a beer. It was with my coworkers. The first time we all hung out. When we went to the like the club? No. no. Like, where do we all To an a restaurant you were fancy and you sat beside Kylie. Oh. <laughs> yes, okay. No, that yeah, no. The service wasn't great. Which yeah, kinda no. sucked because we, we were sitting like where like, my sister, she waited, like, what, like, 20 minutes just for one beer, and we were the only people in the restaurant. Yeah. Well, we went out with your family, same restaurant. They kept going to you to, uh, because just turned 19. Yes. It was on her birthday, or day after her birthday, what, no, it was on your birthday. on my birthday. Go out to the same restaurant before, or this was before, and I'm sitting there, I'm driving, can't drink, don't really want to drink, to be fair. It was fair. She drank on, or I drank on my birthday, and she was there. She didn't drink. It was great. It Same was thing. Funny Reverse. thing. So, I'm sitting there, and I'm like, I have my pop, my Dr Pepper, drink it. They kept Down. giving me alcohol. And I'm sitting there, and do you want another drink? Do you want another drink? Do you want? They weren't what, even asking Kylie either. They were just asking me. Because what they'll do is they'll keep feeding you drinks, and it ups the the bill, and yeah. they get a bigger tip. But no, but it's it, percentage. But what I mean is, like, they I'm, they kept asking me. They didn't ask anybody else. No. I'm sitting there. I'm like, I, I, I want to drink. I'm thirsty. I'm dying. I was super talkative, to be fair. Yeah. I usually am. But it was such a, I don't know. No, no. That I, place, it's gone downhill. Oh, they got rid of the mac and cheese there. I was so upset. Or they, they didn't they get rid of it. They it changed it. it. They changed the recipe. They, and it's all watery and gross. And, it, and they, I can make a better mac and cheese than them. It was. This is a lot. Oh, their burger. They used to have a Canadian burger, and the burger was good because it had this like apple butter. If you're a Canadian and you know what I'm talking about, beans. you know what I'm talking about. You know the place we're talking about. <laughs> the apple butter like barbecue sauce. It was so good. And then I got the burger one time and it didn't have any on it. And I'm like, what happened? What What did they do this? I ordered it. All right, ordered it with it because it didn't come on the burger. They. I swear to. I swear they went. They took the. They Full-handed the burger and went, boom, right into the pound of the barbecue sauce and I pulled re- it out. And I do remember that. It was not enjoyable. Well. It was messy. I didn't like it. I don't like messy Me neither. Foods. My, my, uh. But I like boneless wings. I eat it with a fork and a knife. Call me weird. I don't care. I hate bone-in wings. My friend and my, my old coworker, he got, like, this wrap. Right. And there was supposed to be, like, ranch in it and stuff. It had probably, like, a dab of ranch oh, and stuff. I... And, like, he he wanted what I had because I got, like, a breakfast thing. Mm-hmm. And they weren't, they're, like, technically we're not supposed to give you this, but we can make it for at you. At Timmy's? No, it was at um, the place you're talking about. Oh, they gave it me was a lunch. Yeah, they gave. Lunch menu thing. Yeah, they gave me it when they weren't really supposed to, but they made it for me anyway, which was nice. No, they, uh... They just like me, I guess, but for certain things. The... I guess, again, we got off topic on tipping, because that's how it goes. Tipping sucks. It... I think the UK has it great, where the servers are just paid well, and if you like the service, you go, great job. You did great. It's not forced. I, I know. Like- it, it's also... It feels so... Um, passive aggressive too, because mm-hmm. like it's automatic. I also like in the UK that tax is included in the price of items. 
So you go, let's say... I have no idea really what he's talking about, mostly so, because you don't I... Know this? How many times have I been to America? No, UK. How many it's times have question. I been to UK? So in the UK, you know how it's... Things here. Let's say you buy a painting set. Twenty nine ninety nine plus tax. You know what it is in the UK? Twenty nine ninety nine. The price is including tax. So the pr tax is already on that price. Tag. Oh, I think they do that in Germany too. Yeah, I think all of uh, Europe. I think does it. Yeah. So if which you is are, super helpful because if, then you know the direct. Exactly. Canada sucks for that. The North America sucks for that. So let's say you're on a budget of X amount of dollars. You say hundred dollars for groceries for the the month week. We'll go week groceries. That's a whole different story. Hundred dollars a week for groceries. Two weeks. Every two weeks groceries. You go two weeks. You go and you buy your stuff and you're like, okay, I'm at enough. It's perfect. You go and you check out and you you don't think about tax because it's just added on at the end. You go, okay, all this adds up. I'm right just under $100. I got maybe $5 to spare for something else I want another day or for next, next, next grocery bill. You go up, you check out, subtotal is $95. Great, go to pay, $106. What? There's no reason, it, it just makes, tax is 13%, no. If, to calculate tax, it's time, whatever the price is times 1.13. I think it's weird that in customer service you can't tip anybody, like. Yeah, that is stupid. I would love to be tipped. Because I can't I get can't. tipped. I would love to be tipped. Le legal, awesome, like, no. like, like, like. If somebody found out I got tipped most times and like I took it, I like there's a potential of me losing my job. I don't think for my job we can take cash tips, but if someone can't like camp, right? Someone came in, I've had this before, kids love the place, come in on the Friday, they've been here the entire summer. Come in on the Friday and they give us a ten dollar Tim's gift card. Every liter ten dollar Tim's gift card. That's a gift it's not a tip so we're allowed to take that because it's not it's a here's a card we love you you were great here's on top of that a little gift card for tips i still have funny enough in my wallet a gift card from one of the kids who i used to do it was an inclusion adult um kind of chill program who i loved we got together so well like we, we clicked and it was he gave it the gift card and it has not left my wallet I've used every dollar on it but it's still in my wallet something that just I don't know it stuck with me so you our job it's you can take these little like hey here's a little gift here's a little whatever like pickleball drop-ins I've had a couple people like I've had one lady she's hilarious She'll give me like Ferrero Rocher that she just has in her purse. Like we can't say no to that. We we you know, unless you're allergic, of course. But it's like, oh, thank you. It's so nice. It's like our version of a tip. And I think we're not allowed to take it. I need to do some training. I totally forgot about it. That's a tonight thing. We get to do it together. I might have to do just one. Um, <laughs> but it's I I think in tips are so the culture around tipping is so stupid where you have to tip if you don't tip you look like the asshole i know it really sucks especially like if the if it's if bad you don't have them bad service or you don't have the money like it's like then people judge you or it's it's even worse if you look like so they're <sighs> dar man made this this video where the guy comes in and it's a big the guy sells his company and it's uh it's sell oh and this guy's like oh my god it's a 10 percent party we're gonna get so much money oh it's gonna be great I mean, the tip's gonna be insane the other guy the other server uh, is waiting a table for one person whose wife hasn't shown up yet blah 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 he got water and bread which is free and oh you're not gonna get a tip you're not gonna get a tip and the guy's like oh don't worry I, I don't care. This guy's nice. So the guy who wants the tip goes back to the table, takes the bill. No tip. And the guy who? The guy who does 
feeding the table of one with bread and water, which is free, gets a hundred dollar tip. He's like, yeah, you don't have. We will come back. We'll just. We weren't hungry. Like we were just here, and then we got here, and we're like, oh, okay, now we're not hungry. But it's it's about your service. I it think. is, and like it's it's just so because like I've seen like so shows snooty. and stuff where it's like people don't tip and then they make a big deal about it and this and that like i know that's how people some people make a living and i know it's hard like especially nowadays they know it's hard but it's hard for everybody that's the worst part about it it's so hard for everybody at least in canada you're backed up by student wage minimum wage where you still get that 15 to 17 dollars or whatever it is i don't know it changes every day i swear uh, but you you still get that good amount. You get the you get the good amount, and the tip is a bonus. But people still say, "Oh, I need the tip. I need the tip. I need the tip. I need the." No, calm down. Are you gonna come to my place of work and then tip me because I served you? Meh. It's really funny. Really, really funny. People are weird. People are weird. How long have we been going? Oh, an hour and six minutes. Look at that. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. I think we can wrap this up. I really need to get that training done. <laughs> Anxiety <laughs> kicks in. I realize it's like due tomorrow. <laughs> and I haven't done it. I think there's one little thing. All right. Procrastination. Well, hey, that's my best thing. At its finest. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already followed, subscribed, consider doing that. By the time this comes out, I probably am on Apple Music, iTunes. Okay. I've been fighting for that for my life, and then I realized that my phone number is connected to my dad's Apple ID, so I used my dad's Apple ID, and here I am today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe, follow, leave the like, leave a like or a five star rating on all platforms that it's on. Check out her channel; it's linked somewhere. Check out my channels. It's linked channel. somewhere. It's linked somewhere, probably in the description. Thank you guys so much. Watch so much for watching. And we'll listening. see you in the next one. Yeah. And listening and sneezing and yeah. And yeah. I hope you like her sign. Look at it. It's a pretty cool it's sign. Beautiful. It lights up. Again, we're gonna change it. Bam. 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 We're gonna leave it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.